Members or contributors of the Social Security and National Insurance Trusts NIT are required from Monday, June 28th to the end of the year to integrate their National Identification Authority card details with their SNIT numbers. The merger is in compliance with Regulation 71 of the National Identity Register Regulations 2012 LI 2111. The merger is expected to improve the access and services related to SNIT. All this forms part of the government's agenda to make the Ghana card the sole source of identification for persons living in Ghana and for accessing public services in the country. SNIT contributors who have not registered yet to merge their numbers will have from now till December 2021 to do so. On the other hand, for new users, SNIT will only accept the Ghana card as the unique identification for processing benefits and contributions. Just by dialing the short code star 711 star 9 hash, SNIT members can now begin the process to merge their numbers. Although Ghanaians are being advised to access the short code to begin the process, some SNIT members have already received text messages to indicate their numbers have been merged automatically. The corporate affairs manager of SNIT, Ifwa Sakodie, explains why. During the NIA registration, I don't know if you remember, but both NIA and ourselves here at SNIT, we were encouraging SNIT members to present their, NIA, their SNIT numbers at the point of registration for the NIA number. Um, we, were, we were doing that as the first step to this process. And so for our members who, who listened and then went and presented their numbers to the NIA officers at the point of registration, those, their, their numbers have already been merged. And for them, if they want to verify that the number has actually been merged, then they can still dial the same short code, the star 711 star 9 hash. In this case, they will select option two. She further urged all Ghanaians to get on board with this development and contact any of their officers should they be faced with issues. So unless the, the issue is with the Ghana card number itself or the SNIT number itself, and by that I mean maybe you are entering the wrong digits or something is not, you're not doing something right. In that case, the system will not be able to uh, do the measure. And so then we would advise that you call our contact center on 0302-611-622 or, or look for us on social media at SNIT Ghana and there are officers who have been detailed to assist such persons. Um, but if you do not have any of these peculiar situations or another situation could be the fact that if you're a SNIT, a SNIT member but you have not biometrically re-enrolled with a scheme, then you would have challenges. But are Ghanaians even aware of the new development and what do they make of it? A visit to the ministry's enclave in Accra brings out some interesting findings. I just had the information yesterday night and today I'm also doing uh, my office run. And anytime I get the time, I'll go there to go and then maybe hear what they have. Uh, for me, truly, in fact, I, because I did not understand the whole thing and why it was done. So you can't expect me to uh, understand it. Now that uh, it's uh, been effective from today, I think I have to take the necessary actions to do that uh, because uh, uh, I think it to be of a national obligatory for any uh, SNIT participant to do. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I think I have to embark on it. Yeah. Well, to me, it's a good news. Because maybe you don't know, you might get into trouble and you might need your number or something. You can just leave your phone at home. But you can just use your Ghana card when you have it and they can access all your information. I personally didn't know about it until now. So if you said there's a short code, you said there's a short code, I'll, I'll gladly get on it. It's a good idea. Only if the government would have a process that will make using